So we're uh, a small, organic, non-certified, but organic vegetable farm. And uh, we serve a CSA that is close to about 100 chairs this year. The scale, we're growing on three and a half acres here uh, at the main farm. And then we have four off-site fields that I rent that are all about a half acre each, three of which are nothing but potatoes. For a couple years now, I've been increasingly interested in soils, in soil chemistry and biology, and, and this was just one way to approach it. I saw an email, and I heard about Sarah, but I, I read it and I, and I felt like very drawn to possibly pursuing science in the realm of farming, small-scale farming, so we applied for a Sarah Farmer grant. Well, I didn't know that much about tarping. I've heard about it, and I was definitely compelled to find out more, and I wanted to try it. It, it definitely seemed like it would help with weeds, that it would warm up the soil, and then maybe you could get the potatoes in earlier. On a really dry year, I think it probably would have helped with moisture. It would have held in all that, like, winter, early spring moisture. So those would be the obvious benefits that I wanted to find out about. The goal was to assess the ability of tarping and mulching in a reduced tillage system to benefit production of potatoes. Our three treatments, we were looking at, uh, well, introducing tarps into a system that I've been developing for years. So uh, one of the treatments was tarping prior to potato planting, and then we mulched it. Uh, a more typical system that I had done in the past is to just make the furrows and plant the potatoes and mulch it, uh, which we did that too. So then, yeah, so we had no tarp and mulch, we had tarp and mulch, and then we had tarp alone, which is the third treatment, which obviously I've not done. So in that treatment, uh, we tarped the ground for a month and then put the potatoes in, but we didn't mulch it. And that current place was just mostly goldenrod, and it was mowed down to nothing. I put the tiller over it with the depth, just a couple inches. We cover cropped it with rye. The tarp treatments were furrowed in the beginning of May. They sat there with nothing, with the tarp over them for the whole month of May. On Memorial Day weekend after Monday, Tuesday, we took the tarp off and then put the potatoes in. And at the same time, mowed down the non-tarped bed and furrowed that and planted that. So all of them were planted the same day. What we've observed is a clear cut difference in the weeds, I think to be expected probably between the areas that were mulched and the treatment that was not mulched. That seemed pretty, pretty clear cut. Uh, that the rye was coming up more in the treatment that was not tarped. The tarp was particularly easy to work with, I think. I, you know, it was a little bit daunting at first to deal with whatever it was, a 200 by 150 foot tarp or something, but it was manageable and we did it. Well, I, I think I would certainly continue uh, using tarps in this potato production. And then the science aspect of it is, it's totally cool. Um, I like learning constantly, and this is something new with regard to farming that I can learn about. And then, you know, maybe if presenting it to the world and people who are interested in growing potatoes or anything, get something out of it, that's cool. I'd like that too.